Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is March 10th, 2023. We're working in the barn today. We're gonna be trying to put the final nail in the coffin on that whole manure line fiasco that happened here a couple of years ago. Um, I know it's been a long time this you think would be done by now, but uh, what we had to do, and if you go back to some of our earlier videos, you'll, you can see what we all did, what that entailed. But we had to um, cut out a chunk of the barn floor here and dig out to replace the line for our manure pump there. So anyway, we got this all filled back in. Caleb's here helping me. He's packing the dirt down there. We got this all filled in with dirt not too long after the project was done but uh, one of the things i wanted to make sure that this dirt settled good got all packed down and then also if we still wound up we weren't quite sure if we were still going to have an issue or not with the pump so i didn't want to concrete it in right away and it wound up being kind of such a fiasco with that thing i kind of just needed to step away from the project for a while so anyway it kind of got swept under the rug and ignored but we need to get it done so that's what we're going to do today um i got a bunch of uh sack creek we're going to mix that up and uh, get that poured in here it'd be outside it'd probably be too cold yet to pour concrete but it's warm enough in here that uh will be that'll work out good in here i think so we are just getting set up now got our dirt pretty much leveled out um i was going to get some rebar we were going to drill into the old concrete and tie it in, but this is going to be, it's winding up going to be quite a bit thicker than what the old floor was. And actually the original floor didn't have anything in it anyway. Uh, so I think, I think we'll be all right. We might put some mesh in it. I've got some mesh here, but I don't think we kind of decided against tying it into the other one. I don't think it's going to move. So I think we'll be all right there. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run up and see how much see if we got enough sackcrete to finish the project or if we're going to need to get a little more but we'll keep you posted we'll move it along as we go so that it it, it can handle a little bit of being in the concrete that's okay did you, did you guys find a five gallon pail i think jordan went to get one is that what he's doing yeah jordan and axel are you guys are you're starting another channel, isn't it? You're starting another channel, he says. Those still have the same channel, and you did. You did know That's that? That's funny. You already started a channel. Yeah, you, you started guys, a channel like 50 years ago. You started a pretend one now, didn't you, buddy? Did you? Mine? Making all kinds of videos? Mine is by the fire. called that already. Isn't there? Yep. Or are you just like watching it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You want to haul some out? Yep. Okay. okay. So usually you want to turn around and go the direction that you figure out how to turn around.
How many cat prints do you want left in here? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be any. <laughs> Need less cats, so that's the biggest thing. <laughs> back in the barn it's the next day now the next morning uh, we got the concrete all poured and finished off yesterday and it went really well it uh, I mean for using sackcrete it's a lot of extra work you know when you're doing that especially we had to take it out of the top shed load it up bring it in here unload it you know you're moving a lot of bags but I had it and it was nice to get it used up we did use most of it up so that was good and uh, we'll take a look at the finished product here. This uh, turned out really nice. This edge here wound up being kind of jagged because we, when we cut this hole originally, we cut it with a concrete saw so it was nice and smooth. Well then, on this side, there was probably about two, maybe even three feet of concrete here that the hole wasn't nearly this big to start with. Well, the dirt on this piece had caved in as we were working down there. So we had a big shelf of concrete, so we were gonna cut that off to make that a true edge again. Cut it back here, and then we were gonna cut it, oops, cut it over here. 
when we were cutting it it broke off so <laughs> this edge got kind of jagged but that's um it's just going to be in the barn it's not a machine shop floor or anything so it's plenty good for what we need and the plan for this area now is going to be i've got some more of these calf pens we can fit two more here so that's what's going to go here two more of those so what i'm going to do now once this concrete dries up enough where you can walk on it good i'm going to finish up our fence around the manure pump there because we had to cut them boards off and stuff so we've got in that corner i had to, we actually concreted in a that's a four by four wood four by four there so that'll be the corner for my fence around there so we have that blocked off so kids or calves or nobody can nothing falling in there so that was another thing that we had to uh concrete in as well because there was originally a pipe in the concrete there and that had rusted off so when we had the concrete saw here as long as we were doing it we cut that out and figured i might as well put this in but that'll be nice to have you can hinge a gate on there and then put the fence back up here so anyway that'll wrap it up for this video um, i want to also give a big thanks to caleb for helping me out that really helped a lot that was definitely a two-man job and uh it was really really nice of him to help me do that just cost me a couple of barley pops so you can't beat that but um anyway i want to thank everybody for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one